Well, it's about 1.15 in the afternoon, and I just hooked both of these batteries together. So I just hooked this, yeah, I just hooked both of them to pa in parallel. So it dropped, it was at 12.6. This one, this battery on the left was at 12.6, and it dropped it down to about 12. Now it's going back up a little bit, and I was getting 0.3 in, 0.4 amps. That's what I'm getting in. As you can see, the, these trees right here pretty much block the sun after about 12 or 1 in the afternoon. So, I, see I put that 100 watt solar panel on the top and that was probably, it's probably not uh, serving me very good because it's serving me very well. I don't know the correct grammar for that. But, with the trees blocking the sunlight, I'm not getting the greatest input on the solar power. However, I am getting 4.8 volts on the Harbor Freight battery. Or, well, that didn't come from Harbor Freight. I meant the whole Harbor Freight solar panels. They're getting 4.8 volts on this battery. I think this battery's about shot because it hasn't gone up in a long time. I mean, it gets up to about 5 volts. And it'll just stay there. It'll stay in between 4 and 5 volts. And with the sun partially out like this, it's still doing the same thing. And I think y'all saw the other day on the other video, I, it got up to about 5.1 volts, I think. It didn't get up very much higher. I mean, that's not high enough for me to do anything with them. I mean, I can't even turn on a light with it. See, when I try to turn this light on, and that, see that's the light nothing happens so and my CB I think my CB will turn on but you can't transmit oh it won't even turn on now well you, I think it'll it just barely turns on but the screen won't come on so I mean I wouldn't expect it to with four and a half volts on the battery on a battery that's supposed to be at 12 volts, that's not going to produce much power. Not sure if y'all could hear that, but, or uh, I don't know if y'all could see it either, because the, there was an airplane coming over pretty low. I think it was a commercial airplane, but it sounded really loud. Uh, compared to other commercial airplanes that I've seen in this area. Anyway, that was the excitement for today. Well, I just now found the rivet gun underneath the welding gloves. So now I'm going to go uh, finish that Tonka motor grader that I was talking about the other day. Well, I'm up at the house now. I got the rivets in on uh, on this piece here and got that back together. And got the rivet in on this one. So I can see I can turn this and it turns the front wheels. That's pretty cool. But anyway, I gotta get a cap for these, the axle. Oh, there's my cap. Uh, I gotta get a cap for all these axles. I'm gonna go see my uncle one day, probably this week, and ask him where to get the caps, where the best place is to get these caps, because he's the one that gave me this tractor before I fixed it up, and he helped me get it started. So, I'll update y'all when I get that far. And once I get the three caps, I'll have this pretty much done. Oh, there went my cat again. Except for, um, I might put a smokestack in that hole right there. Anyway, I thought I'd update y'all before I upload this video. And I'll, I'll uh, post, a, post me putting the caps on, hopefully, in a future video. You're black. So I can't move any, anywhere on this board now. Can I move up here? Yeah, you can move there, but I'm going to jump you if you do that. Oh, okay. But you're red. You can't jump me. Or, yeah, that's... And you can't do that. that that's my color. 
Well, where, where can I go? Up here. You can move there, but I'm going to jump you. Yeah, you will, won't you? Okay. Hmm. And I can jump you right here. So you might want to move this one up. Oh, yes, I better. Didn't even see it. But I can come up behind you with a king and jump you. Oh, and you can't do anything bad. Okay.